everyone today we are going to study the topic crystallization so let's consider a solution here we have a beaker and within the beaker there is a solvent in which a solute is dissolved in it okay let's consider the solute to be salt and the solvent to be water so basically we have a salt solution with us okay i'm adding more and more salt to our solution and at a particular stage our solution will become saturated so what is a saturated solution a saturated solution is a solution that contains maximum amount of solute dissolved in the solvent for example uh, in this beaker we have solvent and solute that is we have water and salt if the amount of salt present in this uh, solution is the maximum amount of salt that can be dissolved in this particular amount of water then we can say that this solution is a saturated one okay at the saturated stage our solution will be in equilibrium that is salt is perfectly dissolved in water and both of them stays in equilibrium with each other but if i am trying to add more and more salt to this solution then this equilibrium will be disturbed and our solution will become super saturated okay so uh, our solution will try to regain its equilibrium by removing the extra amount of salt that i have added after attaining saturation stage okay so this extra amount of salt is removed by precipitating it out as crystals that is crystals are formed from our solution and this process is called as crystallization okay i have understood that super saturation is the reason for crystallization therefore this super saturation is considered as the driving force for crystallization and we have a uh, we have an equation for super saturation okay uh, it is actually considered as the ratio of the cognitive solute present in the solution when crystals are growing divided by the cognitive solute present in the solution when it is in equilibrium initially we have a solution which is in equilibrium okay later uh, this equilibrium is disturbed and crystal starts growing out of the solution the equation is actually the ratio of the cognitive solute at this stage that is when crystals are growing divided by the cognitive solute at this stage that is when solution is in equilibrium it is easy to study the equation if you study with these figures okay understood that for crystallization to take place super saturation is necessary uh, so how can we attain the super saturation what are the methods of super saturation first one is by evaporating a part of the solvent this is our solution uh, which contains a solvent and solute uh, by evaporating a part of the solvent actually we are reducing the amount of solvent thereby we are actually increasing the concentration of our solution and disturbing the equilibrium when the equilibrium is disturbed super saturation is attained okay and the second method is by cooling we can cool the solution to convert it into a super saturated solution third method is by adiabatic evaporation and cooling okay fourth method is by adding a new substance that reduce the solubility of the original solvent and this method is called as salting or precipitation we are adding a new substance for reducing the solubility of our solvent when the solubility of our solvent reduces the solvent will not be able to dissolve this much amount of solute in it and as a result of this this excess amount of solute will be precipitated out and that is this method okay at the point you have to notice that uh, if the solubility of our solution depends much on temperature then uh, the cooling method this method will be more appropriate but if solubility does not depend much on temperature then the evaporation method is more suitable okay actually solubility is the main thing uh, in the case of crystallization because uh, when we consider a solution we know the solute is dissolved in the solvent but when we uh, reduce the solubility of our solvent what happens the solvent will not be able to dissolve this much of solute then uh, it will try to remove the solute from the solution by precipitating it out as crystals that is how crystallization takes place okay